Something really exciting happened at this Oracle Open World. During the keynote, Larry Ellison himself announced a very new and exciting feature called In-Memory Database. What this feature allows you to do is to dedicate a section of your RAM for in-memory tables and specify which tables you would like loaded into memory. Um, the feature allows you to query the loaded tables in memory at a very high speeds. It allows you to slice the tables both at the column level and partition level. And it is also extremely fast as it leverages hardware instructions at the CPU level called SIMD instructions. Um, so scanning tables in memory is much faster than scanning tables compared to the Oracle buffer cache. The feature itself is extremely easy to use. All you have to do is uh, say, select your tables you want to load and say author table load in memory and Oracle will load in memory and from that point on onwards all your existing queries will leverage the in-memory store and uh, accelerate your reports to uh, um, very fast speeds. Uh, at this point you probably can drop a number of indexes because these are no longer required to support your reporting which will also accelerate your OTP loads because there is no indexes to maintain. Um, so thus the implementation of this feature is extremely uh, easy. I'm super excited about the feature because it adds another tool to my arsenal. It is, it, it, this, this is very big, it allows to leverage the, the newer hardware that has uh, large amounts of RAM. Some machines have multiple terabytes of, of RAM. Oracle just announced a machine with 64 terabytes of RAM and with the compression itself you can put double, triple that amount of, um, of data in memory and query at very high speeds. Um, this feature is due to be released uh, somewhere this year and as it's nearing, uh, as it draws out, we'll give more updates on the blog and we'll, we'll keep you up to date as we test it out in the field.